everyone, welcome to the 29 tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. Now, we'll go over how to make sheets or sheet views this time. We already have our plan view, which is here, our elevation, or a section, and lastly, we have our schedule that we did in our last video, which is this one. Now, we get to use these views in our sheets. Let's get started. First thing we gotta do is, let's check our plan view. Let's start with the ground floor. Do a zoom extend, either ZE using the hot key, sorry, the shortcut key, or double clicking your middle mouse button. Now, as we see here, the grids are too far apart from each other. So let's fix that by dragging this here like this. Same here here and the other one over here now it seems that there's something missing on the edges let's do the grids i'm sorry the crop view let's see how it's gonna look like there so let's try and make this smaller this should be good let's just drag it here like this all right now let's do a zoom extend there now that's better. Let's do the same for our first floor. Let's copy this. Now let's hide it. Go to first floor. Do the same here. Now see, that's too far apart. If I were to do a zoom extend here, like this, see how it big gets. Now let's delete this and go to paste, current view. This is the same crop view ground floor now let's finish this and do that next go to visual graphic override annotation and let's hide the elevation let's make our grid smaller as well all right something like this should be good let's do this to fine and hidden line now let's go ahead and go back to our ground floor Hide the elevation here as well. Change this to fine and hidden line. Okay, everything seems good now. Next, let's go ahead and look at our elevation. Let's start with the north one. Seems a little bit weird. Let's delete these parts. Same here, let's make this a little bit shorter here as well. All right. Now, let's make this a hidden line. Okay. Let's see how it's going to look like in the crop view. Let's go ahead and copy this as well. Let's see the east. Looks bad, let's fix that, going back here. Hmm. You know what, let's just make this smaller like this over here. Stand this here, do the same for our grid. hide that let's see what the north is gonna look like sorry the south okay looking better let's see the west looks a bit bad let's fix this right here right let's drag this here a bit okay now that's a little bit better next let's do a recheck on our schedule okay all right now it's time to do our sheet views let's go to sheets minimize this this one just simply right click go to new sheet either use a1 metric the one that we have right now which 
Autodesk has for us or we load the family if you have your own. For now, let's use the default one. There it is. Now, next will be something very simple. How do we add our floor plan here? Simply click here and drag it like this. There it is. Now, it looks a little bit it looks a bit smaller, right? To make that bigger, we change our scale here. Let's make this to 50. There we go. Now we can go ahead and name this as our ground floor layout, or we can fit two plan views here. Simply go back here and put first floor as well by dragging it. You can fit as many views as you want, of course, as long as it fits, but that's going to make everything cluttered. So for now, let's try to make one sheet per plan. Sorry. Per category so for this one our first sheet let's use the plan view so let's just make this one one to 100 or we can make our custom on our own let's say one is to 75 we don't use that of course but I'm just going to show it to you how it's done simply go to custom and change this to 75 or 80 up to you but I prefer to use one is 200 there all right let's put it here let's do the same here see how there's something here that allows us to align it properly or automatically also here in the properties palette if you try to drag down you will see that there's a grid guide here that we can use apparently nothing is shown here we'll tackle that later on for now, let's fix the title here, here at the bottom. You can actually move it like this, sorry. You can move it as much as you want. You can even rename it by clicking your sheet here and going to here on title on sheet. This view name is the name of the floor plan here. So if I were to change this, for example, GF or ground floor test, ground test you will see how there will be a warning sign for us. If I were to change this, you will see here that it will change accordingly if I were to press yes. All right, there. Now, let's put it back to ground floor. Look at here. This part, it will change as well. There. But if I were to type, to type something here in title sheet, for example, test title, the name will change here, but here in our project browser, Nothing changed. So let's name it here as our ground floor view. Okay, let's make this smaller here and move this one somewhere here. Also, if you click here, we have an option to put a note title like so or title with no title with no line. We, we can also use you can also play around it with the edit type right here we've got here the title to play around if we press no here you will notice that if i click apply the title will be gone so if i click yes also if i can also remove here like so we can change the color we can change the pattern here like this there now let's just Click OK and undo everything that we've done. All right, so let's do the same for our first floor view. Simply drag it here and our title, just move it here like this. You know what? It seems a little bit bland. Let's make it into one plan view per sheet. All right. There. That should look a little bit better. Now, let's go ahead and do the same for our elevation. Let's add another one. Either you do another new sheet here or right-click this one, duplicate an empty sheet. 
All right. Now, let's go ahead and drag our elevation as well. Let's use north. Here, let's add south, east, and west. There. We can do the same here by changing or modifying our title, like so. You will notice how we've got a, a, a line here that comes out automatically that guides us or help us align. All right, that's it. Now let's rename this to uh, elevation views. So we can leave it as is or let's name this A2 elevation. Here, A1 All right, next, let's do our section, sorry, our schedule Let's add our walls for the ground floor here All right, seems, if you look at it, it's going outside our boundary so click here and click the split schedule table here there now we can play around with it so we can match it like this we can extend our columns and our rows here to make it fit a little bit better or play around with what's ever comfortable for you we can add more if we want let's add the uh, Level 1 schedule next, like so. And you can keep adding more as much as you want. And that's how you use sheets. So, in the next video, we will be doing our starting views and using a thumbnail for our model for better appearance. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find or like this tutorial, you can go ahead by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next video.